YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Decades. We are back. Star Citizen. Just wanted to give you guys an update video while we wait for 3.17.2. Um, from what I understand, there's supposed to be a wipe. And that's going to take away all our little money. Um, let's see, we have 21 million. Yeah, all that's going to be gone. And because I changed out my starter package, because I upgraded my ship... I think I'm only gonna start with like a thousand bucks. So, oh, let me adjust my. There I go. What up? So, uh, my next plan um, is going to be mining on Mondays and then trading on Thursdays. So, once 3.17.2 comes back, then I'll be regularly making two videos a week for Star Citizen. Mondays will be mining, Thursdays will be uh, trading, okay? Because again, my only real reason for playing Star Citizen, the reason I even got into it was because of the fact that you can mine, trade, build up wealth and that kind of stuff. And I know where they're going as far as owning your own outpost. And I've even heard them mention something like maybe we'll be able to run our own company, right? Eventually. How many decades in the future that is? I have no idea. Maybe by the time I'm 60. <laughs> and I just turned 47, just saying. Um, but until then, I'm just getting together my little fleet. And as you guys have already seen in another video, what's going on with my eye in the... <laughs> what is going on with my eye? What is that? Look at... <laughs> Look at the eye, bro. I swear, I, there's nothing wrong with my eye. There it is. I picked it up again. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, so my next planned purchase is going to be the Misk Odyssey. And it does everything that I want out of a ship. It's a miner. It's a refiner. And it also has a hangar large enough to let the prospector come along so it, it mines itself and it refines ore right um so it, will it be necessary to bring a prospector if the ship itself mines i have no idea um but i'm we can bring a prospector along and hold even more ore but it wouldn't be able to hold Quantanium, because you know, quantanium. I don't know, I don't know how that would work. Because you know, once when you land your prospector at a facility and you dock it, then the quantanium is no longer volatile and it's not going to blow up once it's docked. So, if you can fill up the Odyssey with quantanium and then refine it, right? Because it has a built in refinery. We already know it can refine quantanium. Once the Odyssey is full, can I then continue mining with the prospector, fill it up with quantanium and whatever else, and then come and dock inside the Odyssey and it will have the same effect as docking at a ship, I mean, at a station. So it's no longer volatile once you get it docked. I wonder, that'd be interesting to know. Um, but I do know there are a couple of good things I'll read to you guys. Um, the cargo hold uh, it has 252 SCU of dedicated cargo space. Gear and supplies are never an issue, and you can carry surplus to trade or barter. That's awesome. I'm just reading directly from the website, a little research that I did. Um, the next slide shows weapons and shields. And it says, uh, the Odyssey is well defended by three remote operated turrets supporting size five guns, four strategically positioned missile racks, and shields that are built to take a beating. I uh, like that. Because your boy is no good at dogfighting. And number, the third slide on the website was for the hangar. And it says, the Odyssey's expansive onboard hangar accommodates small ships. Perfect for scouting, recon, or specialized ex expeditions off-ship. The hangar can also accommodate visitors seeking your services, company, or even a ride. See that? Visitors seeking your services. 
So does that mean that we can charge miners to refine their ores at our facility <coughs> on board the Odyssey? That's pretty dope. Or maybe we can go to people and offer to refine their ores for them. Who knows? Um, the next slide was for the medical bay. And it says the Odyssey's professional spec tier 2 med bay gets injured parties back in action quicker than ever before. It's the closest thing to a hospital facility you'll find on an exploration vessel. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, this one here's my favorite. Number five. Mining arm and tractor beam. So it is advantageous to use this as a miner over the prospector because it has a tractor beam. Prospector does not, right? The Odyssey is remarkably self-sufficient thanks to the fully integrated remote operated mining arm and tractor beam. Extract quantanium and transform it into quantum fuel for the ship's built-in refinery. Oh, with the ship's built-in refinery, meaning you'll never miss a jump again. Basically, you'll never run out of fuel. That's dope. Uh, oh. And the last uh, slide says onboard refinery. The Odyssey is hand pressed. Oops. Sorry about that. Scratch that. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Onboard refinery. The Odyssey is hard pressed to run out of fuel, even in the deepest corners of untamed space, thanks to its fully integrated refinery. Gas captured by the ship's intakes is automatically converted to hydrogen fuel while mined quantanium is refined into quantum fuel. Extend your expeditions indefinitely. Come on, man. This ship is amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely this is this is a no brainer for my type of gameplay, right? Like I said, my only type of gameplay is mining and trading. I just want to be the backbone of the economy if you will that's my whole purpose in the game i have zero desire to even own a gun be honest with you i take all my guns off the ships and everything i don't want to do that although i'm going to have to be able to defend right because i you know these pirates these pathetic losers go running around trying to steal your stuff <laughs> and if you're a pirate didn't mean to offend you psych yes i did i hope you did get offended anyway uh so what i'm going to do here i'm going to let you guys peep in this video that i got off of the um star citizen youtube channel and let you guys see what they say about the odyssey and they call it the carrick killer so you guys can make up your own minds it's definitely a buy no-brainer for me and my type of gaming i'm a solo gamer um so we're going to have the uh, i've already purchased the merchantman and with that purchase i got the uh, c2 hercules to keep until the merchantmen come out now remember i had bought the c2 hercules but i used that i actually burned it to get the credit because it did not have lifetime insurance then i bought like a hundred dollar lifetime insurance vehicle upgraded it um, via a plug-in with a web browser that you can use uh, i think it's called ccc ccu chain i think that's the name of the extension and you can use that chain to upgrade through different vehicles to maximize your savings so anyway i went from the c2 hercules all the way up to the merchantman right with lifetime insurance but that left me without a c2 hercules except the merchantman's ownership is a C2 Hercules, so that was that was perfect. So I, I own the C2 Hercules, I own the mole, um, and the prospector. Now I'm going to take the mole and I'm going to upgrade it to get to the Odyssey, right? And I'm going to take the prospector and I'm going to upgrade it to get to the Orion. So I'm going to own the merchantman, the Odyssey, and the Orion. Now, I think I might have to end up buying another prospector. Maybe I'll just keep the prospector and buy some type of other lifetime insurance small vessel and then upgrade that all the way up to the Odyssey or the Orion, whichever one I'm able to buy first. Um, I think right. I think there's a end of the year. I'm shooting this video 
September 14th, 2022, 12.26 a.m. And I think the only other event left for the year where you can buy these ships is uh, like the end of November going into December. I think this, that's what it's called, International Space Show or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but if I'm able to buy the Orion and the Odyssey during that week, I will. That way I can go ahead and complete my fleet. Because the longer you wait, the more these these ships cost. And I do know they say, well, you'll be able to buy these these ships in game. Yeah, but come on, man. Have you seen how much that 890 jump is in game? I think, uh, I think it's like 32 million. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. I'd rather spend 32 million building, a, building my base out or something when that time comes. Or maybe I'll be able to buy a business, right? How awesome would that be? How awesome would it be if we get to the point where... Let's say I have a mining business and, you know, my business is worth a couple hundred million. You have your mining business. Your, yours is worth more than mine. You want to buy mine. That's that's pretty sweet. Right. In the game, of course. Anyway, so uh, thanks for turn, um, tuning in, guys. That's my update for this week. Again, it'll probably be a couple of weeks before you see any Star Citizen videos from my channel because I'm waiting on thir um, uh, point two, what, 3.17.2. I think that's what it is. So once that comes out, then I'll start making my videos on a regular basis again because then we have to start to grind all over again to get our money up. All right. So check out the video for this Odyssey and you guys let me know what you think. It's Captain Admiral Decades and I'm out. This is the first MISC ship in about five years. In my mind, it'll be pushing into the further expanses of the universe, going as far as you can go and seeing what's out there. The type of player this ship should appeal to is those players who just like traditionally non-combat experiences. The Odyssey is sort of designed for a more generic role in terms of they want to go off into the wild blue yonder and just explore. Being MISC, uh, obviously they work closely with Gian and incorporate text of that. Primarily on the art side, gave a lot of flexibility, but on the design side allowed us to justify some of the more interesting features of the ship. In terms of the ship from front to back, there's a lot more of that cool levitation tech. Got that classic sort of wide cockpit we see on MISC ships like the Freelancer. Underneath, you know, we've got like a prospector type bubble which has two crew. One person does the tractor beaming, one person does the mining. We've got two unmanned turrets for a little bit of self-defense. There's one at the back under the underneath too. And then the pilot has a variety of missiles to use. On the interior, we've split it over three levels in total. Top deck is mainly some engineering space and refinery. So you can mine quantanium and refine it for the ship itself. So that essentially gives you the ability to just generate your own quantum and hydrogen fuel. Obviously, Star Citizen is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We know we're introducing more systems. Fuel is going to become a major issue, right? And so this is perfect for that kind of scenario. The middle deck is the sort of the, probably the most dominant of the three. You have a a bridge at the front of the ship and it's quite a nice bridge on the Odyssey because you have this huge bank of stations for all the crew to sit there all in one place. Every crew member has their own room with ensuite facilities on board. And then the, the lower deck leads us to the hangar, which is basically what the whole ship is formed around, essentially. So that really did dictate 
the dimensions and the proportions of the ship. It's a generic hangar. It's designed to our environmental hangar metrics. So there's a huge range of ships that can fit in there. You could bring a fighter ship if you want more defense. You could bring a prospect if you want to do even more mining. The, the hangar on there is a, a huge volume and helps support any choice you want to make with ships. There's a little medical bay in there for any accidents that happen along the way. We have this one room which is kind of really in there just as like the rule of cool. You can just sort of sit there and just see space, you know, as you're zooming along. The natural competitor to the Odyssey is the carrot. In my mind, it's a carrot killer. What you can do with it is pretty impressive. It's kind of the multi-tool of the spaceship world. It just gives you almost ultimate flexibility on how you want to play. The Misc Odyssey is the ultimate exploration ship. 